Want your Minecraft server, chat, and Discord community to work together seamlessly? Discord SRV is the tool for the job. This powerful plugin syncs chats, sends alerts, and even supports cross-platform commands. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a Discord bot, install and configure Discord SRV, and also link it to a specific channel in your Discord server. This tutorial is for Spark Tool servers, but it will work on other hosting platforms too. Clients from other Minecraft hosting that switch over can save up to 230% on their hosting costs. On hardware, that's 37% faster. Check the link in the description for more information. To start off, you need to head to the Discord developer portal. You need to create a new application for our Discord bot. I'm just going to name it Minecraft. Click Create. And from here, you need to head over to Discord bot. And then select all these three options. So when you're here, you need to head over to the bot section and enable these three intents. They're very important for the bot to run. And also give your bot administrator permissions. You can also give it a username and a profile picture here. Just going to call it Minecraft. After that, you need to head over to installation and leave everything as it is, except for here. Just click bot under guild install, then click administrator and click save. Now you may invite your bot to your server. And the way I would recommend you do it is to copy the link and go to your Discord server and paste it and just click it here click add to server then click continue as you can see the bot is now on our service let's install the plugin now to install it you need to go to the corresponding page and click download save it wherever i saved it here then go to your server files plugins and drag and drop what you just downloaded here i already did and you need to restart your server after to actually configure the plugin we need to go to its corresponding folder and go to config.yml and keep this file open for now we need to go back to our developer portal and go to bot and click reset token so you can get access token for the bot click yes it should ask you for verification if you have it set up and copy this it's recommended you keep it somewhere safe so you don't lose it because this is going to appear one time only so just copy it and go to your file that we just opened and paste it here all right keep this open and go to your discord go to settings advanced and enable developer mode create a channel where you want the bot to send the messages and right click it and copy channel id go back to your configuration and find this line right here and put the channel id we're also going to create a console channel to paste all the server's console logs into it click create and copy the channel id as well you can save now and restart your server. There is also an optional setting that you can do. You can set up proximity voice chat. To do that, you just need to create a voice channel and copy its ID and go back to the folder and go to voice.yml and enable voice. You are going to create a lobby voice channel, copy its ID, paste its ID here, and the voice main voice channel should be this one. We can save now. We can now restart our server and test our changes. If everything is set up properly, you should see the console messages in the console chat, which is very cool. And you can also see that the server has started here as well. All right, let's let's test this. I'm going to go into my server now. Let's type in a message. And let's type a message in the Discord as well. As you can see, it's working perfectly. If you have any questions, please make sure to drop them in the comments. We always reply. And you can always open a ticket as well. Our Spark Toast team is online 24-7. We're here to help out whenever. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.